Hey guys, Mike the Scrapper here. Today I want to show you non-magnetic stainless steel. This piece here, I got this from a inside a gas tank. Okay, some guy I knew was dumping it. I said, hey, can I have it? I put a magnet to it, didn't attract. Non-magnetic stainless steel. Okay, this here, you can tell it's from a blender. This is a pretty much like a 12 cup coffee pot. I just got to remove that piece of aluminum. And here you have a teapot. Now, the way you can find out if this is non-magnetic non stainless steel is a screwdriver and a magnet. See the magnet? See how it attracts it? Okay, got this from a microwave. All right, put the magnet there. Just the same thing like aluminum. It doesn't attract, okay, or this here. All right, it's not attracting. That's called non-magnetic stainless steel. This pretty much goes for about 50 cents a pound at your uh, your scrapyard, but um, don't confuse it with regular stainless steel. Regular stainless steel would attract like this. Okay, later uh, in another video, I'll show you some other stuff that they sell called high-speed stainless steel. It's kind of like a hacksaw blade or a reciprocating saw blade, a sawzall, or a circular saw blade. Any of those things that they're pretty much called high-speed stainless steel look it up on the internet you'll see them you'll see some pictures of that stuff and that is worth some money instead of you mixing it with all your steel mix it with all your high-speed stainless steel then you have your non-magnetic stainless steel and then you have your regular steel and there's some other stuff once I get some uh, some pieces of it I'll show you it's called like Monel and uh, some something called um, Alcinco magnets all this stuff that's all worth money get a list of your stuff from your um, recycling people and see what they accept and then start looking it up on the internet start looking at pictures and then you know like I said dudes you guys are gonna make some extra money here alright see you guys later